and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grix, some Jackson, uh, Jess Guy Drakes. I was about to say Grixis again, but we just got done playing Grixis. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay, I messed that up. Oh well, anyway, this is a donation deck. That's what the two Ds mean next to the deck list there. So this is a deck that was donated that I have not uh, played before, but it looks pretty interesting. So far, the right now in the format, the Drakes don't look super impressive. Like last format, there were all the Planeswalkers that really overshadowed these flying creatures. Um, I guess that's that's really what I was thinking of as last format. So this format, I haven't played against them too much, but and I definitely have not played against a Jeskai version here. So the main reason why we have white is we got God's Willing for our protection spell now instead of Dive Down. Which, that seems like a really nice upgrade. God's Willing can, um, you know, not only protect our creatures, but also make it unblockable. If we have, like, a really big Crackling Drake and they just have, like, a, a flying blocker, we can go protection from whatever color their flying blocker is and swing, in, swing on in there. We got some Teferis, because Teferi is just an amazing card. Gotta love that one. And, of course, some counter, some good counter magic there with Dovin's Veto. Um, so, yeah, let's let's kind of see how this goes. Um, I'm a little surprised we got our Clarions in the sideboard, not in the main deck. That's something I'm a little surprised about. Uh, we also have Teferi here of Dominara. That card's awesome. Um, Niv-Mizzet seems like it's pretty good against like these Risen Reef decks. Now, obviously, they can be a whole lot faster than you, but if you can kind of slow the game down, get a Niv-Mizzet down, you can start pinging off a lot of mana creatures and Risen Reefs and things like that. Um, but, yeah, that's that's our deck. Let's give this a try. There's just a lot of like pretty solid cards here. So I'll be interested to see how this deck plays out. All right, here we go. Jeskai Drake. So with this being a donation deck, we're going to head on over to our traditional con constructed queue and see how we do over here. See if we win five before losing two. That's the goal. That's the goal. Gotcha. So Twilight Princess, just a rumor to be remastered on the Switch. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. There's there's the new Breath of the Wild game coming out in like September though, right? Probably don't need either of those. Yeah, uh, Hawkeye's a boy. To do donation decks, uh, there's information down below in in the info panel. I have a, a huge description about um, donation decks. And so if you're watching this later on YouTube, I, I get a question about that sometimes. You know, just head on over to the Twitch channel. A lot of information there. Um, but basically, to shorthand it, to get your deck played on, on stream, it's a $20 donation, and you get to pick what day... I mean, you can pick a lot of stuff. You can pick what day you want me to play your deck, what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth, whichever whichever time slot works for you. Every day and every time slot's open, so there's there's you don't have to worry about anything. Just tell me what day, what time slot, and you can also pick out the sleeves if you want and pick out the avatar. So those are other things that, if you'd like, you can pick out. Well, this was just really unfortunate, you know, having no lands, no lands, and then millions of lands. That's already nine lands and 11 cards. Hey, what's up, Dirk? Thank you so much for that resub there, Dirk. Darn. I was definitely hoping they did not draw a green source because now they have now they have everything turned on between Frilled Mystic 
in Ambusher. I can't really get my Crackling Drake counter, though, because that's the only card that I have. So I can't just play it. I gotta wait. Ugh. Yep. Alright, well, we're going to game two. I probably just shouldn't even play Crackling Drake. Just shouldn't even let them know what we're doing here. Yeah, we're... That was a really, really unlucky game. To even get to play Magic. Hmm. Deputy is probably really good. I don't think we need God's Willing very much. I kind of like Essence Scatter and Absorb and just playing the Counterspell game back. Coil good. Not so sure about Spell Pierce. I think they'll be able to pay the two mana pretty quickly, especially if we're going for a longer game here. Maybe no negate. Maybe no discovery. Maybe no enigma drake. Kind of trim a little bit around here. <laughs> Hide the Drake. The giant blanket over top of a Drake. Yeah, I could see the cutting the spell pierce thing not working out well. I could see that being a mistake. This is this is definitely an archetype that I don't have very much um, I do not have very much experience with this archetype. So they're just playing Drago as well. Good, no one's humming. Yeah, it does seem like niv has been in standard forever, and niv it's not even rotating. I 
I definitely agree with that. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. Ooh, which one's your favorite card, Storm? Is it Nimizit? Is it Nimizit Perun? Perun? Pa Run. It's a run in Pennsylvania. It's a Pa Run. Yeah, there you go, Rattleclaw. Niv Mizzet, I think sideboard. Sideboard in Arc Light Reanimator against Counterspell Heavy Decks. I like it. Can we draw spells? Please. How many lands we got in here? Oh, did I did I not update my deckless command? I didn't update the deckless command. We only have 23 lands in this deck? How are we flooding out so bad? There's only 23 lands in here. Well, the game we lost, we had 11 lands and 13 cards. And this one, we got 8 lands and 12 cards. How do we How do we even have all these lands in this deck? There's 23 in the deck. Like, how? how is this even possible? Well, how do they know I don't have anything else? No, Tum Tum, I don't. All right, I won. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what our probability of being so flooded is with 20, 23 lands. Well, that was really flooded two games in a row. All right, got it. We got our back against the wall now. Got to start picking up some wins. And we got mono red. So I don't want to shock against mono red. I'm not shocking to cast opt. There's nothing that I like need to find immediately. I don't think. Ember hauler.
Yeah, I'll take those. Oh, it would have been a good card to be able to uh, negate. All right, I'm a little bit more desperate now. Need to find land. Definitely wish we had de de certainly wish we had deafening clarion. I guess saying deafening definitely and then deafening back to back is kind of tough. But certainly wish we had clarion. But we do not have any clarions in our main deck though, so. Just gotta play one Drake now. Next turn we can play another Drake and be able to protect it with counter magic. I would not mind them sacking both Ember Haulers to kill Drake. I would not mind that at all. Because that means no burn spell for to turn on lava runners or anything. Oh, that's definitely lucky for us. No burn spells. This one's starting to look good for us. Definitely good seeing me supposed to attack there the last turn. I think this turn I'm probably going to be attacking. So that's six spells in the graveyard now. Could have seen me supposed to attack last turn with the four power creature also. Maybe I was playing too safe. We'll see. All right. 
Enigma Drake, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, Coil, Coil. Um, I don't know, Absorb is probably bad, but it says gain three life, so I kind of want to play it. It's probably really slow, though. I don't know. It does say gain three life. That's pretty good. This kind of deck is not my specialty. <laughs> I could say that. Um, spell Pierce, they should be able to pay for stuff. I guess if you spell Pierce stuff right away, though. Hmm. Teferi Time Raveler is out. All right. Ugh, that card's out. Chemist's Insight out. All right, those cards are out. Now... Now what? So what are the three cards from here? I guess we could maybe take out one Niv. Niv is pretty awesome. I like Niv, but I think we can we could probably take out one. Thank you so much there, Fitness. Thanks for that sub. And yeah, thank you so much for the support. You are a rock star. Thank you. Thank you very much there, Fitness. All right, we're going to cut one Niv, we're going to cut one Discovery, and... We'll just play the two Vitos. All right, eight sub of the day. Yeah, that is true that the deputy does force them to use a burn spell on the deputy and not on you. One thing I'm a little worried about with deputy is us playing Clarion. And I'm not sure how much I like the Clarion deputy combo. If I had something that cost two mana on turn two, I would definitely think about shocking in there. <laughs> well, I guess we do. Hey, Windcat, what's up? Your deck's not bad. We got really unlucky in our first round. So we lost game one and game three because we drew just tons and tons of lands. And then I look and, and yeah, there's only 23 lands in the deck. Like game one, we had, we had a one lander, we mulligan. We had a zero lander, we mulligan to five. It's six lands and an opt. So I put two lands back. And then we proceed to draw a whole bunch of lands after that. I don't think I can really just let the, you know, have the Enigma Drake die to a burn spell. They already have the Firebrand out. They can do one damage to the Enigma Drake, so if they have a, a three damage burn spell, it dies. Yeah, it's another seven lander, or you know, seven seven lands and eleven cards. Don't know what the deal is with our deck here. All 
All right, Spell Pierce out. Deputy of Detention in. Yeah, Fry was pretty brutal there. Can't be countered. We we do have, you know, we have God's Willing. That can stop a Fry in progress. Ooh, opponent's down to five cards. Yeah, it's all right. No ceilings. Just, yeah, it sounds like you're doing great, though. But yeah, you can put the link to the deck here in chat. I don't mind ever, like, taking a look at, at decks like that, but I won't, like, spend, like, a, a large amount of time on it or anything. It'll just be while I'm playing. Hmm. Nah, no shock. It's easier from my from my point to be able to answer questions than more than just the what do you think of this? Also No, Radical Guru, that is not true. There's no matchmaking bias whatsoever. We'll just think, you know, if you say that if you win too much, then then arena will, will hurt you with some kind of matchmaking thing or mana problems or something. Like, why why would arena care who wins? Like, why does it matter to arena what what and or who wins? It it shouldn't. Doesn't just makes no sense to to have anything like that programmed into the software. Just doesn't doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any difference to them if somebody wins three in a row or if they win six in a row. Just makes no difference. Question is, is it safe to say the Boros Feather is the best God's Willing deck currently in Standard? And... I don't know if that is safe to say. I really like the Naya version. Just playing... I haven't played either one, but playing against them, I've been very impressed with Season of Growth and the Naya version.
I basically want to be able to counter Experimental Frenzy. So I'm kind of holding this absorb for. But I'm gonna look for another land here, so I can play Deputy or Enigma Drake, depending, you know, depending on what they do, and have Absorb. We could be dead to a couple of burn spells now because I have been patient. But if they have Frenzy, we have that covered with Deputy Absorb. It's unfortunate. So, of course, I have Deputy in play right now because of Get to Lava Runner, but I, I didn't want that discovery was just such bad timing. I got rid of the Drake and the Niv Mizzet. That was really bad timing on that discovery because I wanted one land, but now it's just been a whole bunch of lands since then. Got really, really punished with that discovery. Yeah, got punished on waiting on the absorb. Just basically, you know, different reasons for like decisions I was making, but they all ended up being wrong. Well, that can help. Maybe we draw Clarion, give our Drake lifelink. That'd be nice. No, I don't hold lands. Never know what kind of spell chain we could draw that we need all of our lands and play for. It's not like I haven't been getting rid of lands. I've moved three lands to the bottom also. That's not that much more than half our lands, though, and half our deck. Wow, did we get really lucky to win this? Wow, we got really lucky. So they went like five cards. They went three lands and two creatures that are one three blocked. They basically bricked five draw steps in a row. Yeah, I did not I did not expect that either.
All right, we got Discovery. Got a couple cool looking basics. Ugh. Yeah, I thought we were going to be O2 there, for sure. I, it was just lands in their hand. Um, yeah, with playing Frenzy, they shouldn't be holding lands, but that they were. Swamp. We have four lands right now, but we have another discovery. We have like this inside that can draw lands. Even though we need six for Niv Mizzet, I don't think we need we like have any reason to keep these others. We've seen that we have a very um, good chance to be drawing lands today. Our opponent's laying down the law. That is awesome. I had never seen Kalia or her animation before. That was awesome. Um... I got this. So we're going to go Teferi Tick up so that we can play Discovery on their turn. I guess... I don't even know if that's worth a negate TBH. No more games. Trust me, I have a plan. We got God's willing. I forgot about God's willing. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to play that thing. And of course, they can only play one removal spell because you know each each player can only play one spell a turn. So like whenever you play one spell, that's it. All right, so that's it. All right, that's it for us. Let's try this. Four, four, flying haste. It's kind of a big dragon. that this is hardly my worst defeat all right we're taking a backup to miss it just in case
I should just attack first before playing Niv, of course. But well. Rule of Law is very good against the Feather decks. You know, like... No, I guess it's not really that good, because you can only play one thing. Also. Hmm. Yeah, you know, maybe it is just the aggro decks trying to slow them down. Unfortunately, God's Willing is only target creature you control. That'd be cool if you could target your opponent's creatures. We're targeting Shalai, of course, because we have to target Shalai. could target us, but... Yeah, I guess we could target ourselves. Alright, so it doesn't seem like we need Spell Pierce. So that's going to leave. And I guess we bring in Coil, I suppose. Absorb seems really good against the deck filled with expensive cards. Like they have, actually. Let's play some Absorbs. Take out Negate. Take out these Shocks. They're not going to kill things. I guess just Teferi is just a great card, so we should probably play that to up our power level. All right, here we go. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really seen too many Nymphs around either. Yeah, basically ever since War of the Spark, whenever all these Planeswalkers are in introduced, you know, Niv, when you like actually get to your six mana and you play it, can't be countered. Well, nobody's playing counter spells, so whatever. But it resolves, and then you're like, all right, well, if you play an instant or sorcery to deal with it, I, I get to at least draw a card. And they just have a three or five mana Teferi and just bounce it or tuck it. And then you're just like, ah, oh, that didn't work very well. Yeah, you can you can put in whatever you want instead, Matt. You know, whatever card advantage mythic or rare you want to put in the sideboard instead of Big Teferi. Go for it. Big Teferi is not critical to this deck. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go ahead and ditch it. No hero. It's like a bank robber in the movies or something. Like, don't be a hero. Yeah, there you go. Ral's a good one. Oh, 
Wait, this thing can still attack? It just can't block? That's not a very good removal spell. Poor opponent. Didn't have any lands. Hey, Prugor. All right, we're two and one. This looks like a reasonable hand. <laughs> Thanks, Royal Flesh. Looks like maybe we have a mirror match. I guess we don't have Temple. Hmm. I don't have very many spells that cost four or more, but we're drawing them so far. Yeah, it seemed like, yeah, I haven't had any str struggles with red sources. I guess we just did right there that last game, but it seemed like we've had enough red sources so far. So do I want an insight or crackling drake? I probably want an insight. Instead of letting them coil the drake immediately. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to drake. They're draking. But we did need to get down three cards before we hit found our land, so. There's a coil. Really hope we draw a land and get to Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet seems pretty awesome in this kind of matchup. Would I want to wait and be able to God's willing Niv Mizzet though? Like they spend like multiple burn spells on it and then I just God's willing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna save the the God's Willing for Niv Mizzet. Do you want to hit land drops? Certainly thought Chemistry's Insight was more reliable to hitting a land drop than Crackling Drake was. Well, no, I wasn't. So, yeah, so I uh, thought of about sh shocking a land the previous turn in case I wanted shock and God's Willing here. Well, I wasn't going to be casting God's Willing. Like, I'm not casting God's Willing on these because I'm going to save God's Willing for the Perun. So I, I didn't need to shock in the land because I was only going to use the shock.
This next turn, though, I'll have niv Mizzet plus Spell Pierce plus God's Willing, so that's pretty nice. That's going to be sweet. Oh, Ani Musha, I don't, I don't use Twitter at all. So yeah, I apologize if you were trying to follow me on there. I don't, I don't use it. All right, like where we're at here. Yeah, they got Phoenix over there. We got Niv Mizzet. Are they gonna cast an instant here? And like let my Niv Mizzet resolve first? They are. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's the goal. We're gonna try to peruin our opponent's day. But if we get decked, Nim is it drawing too many cards? I guess I probably should have killed my opponent if that's the case. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't even look at the auto tap. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, good thing we have a, a new Niv Mizzet in town. All right, I'll try not to mess this up. Yeah, it would have been nice to have another white source for Vito. So we want more coils. I don't know, I can see y'all playing all these cards. All right. So which 12 of these are we not playing? I don't think, well, hmm. These are the worst.
All right, yeah, no big Teferi. Little Teferi shuts down Finale. And, like, if they have counter magic and stuff. Which could be nice. Yeah, Deputy dies to burn spells. Strike, coil, all that kind of stuff. All right, we'll take out Deputy. Um... Uh, all right inside out scatter out scatter is great against crackling drake but that's kind of about it yeah and absorb absorb cost too much we're not going to play absorb and i'm going to take out a shock and maybe another shock or a spell pierce. We'll take out another shock. Okay. Uh, no, I could take a look at it after the stream rattle claw, but no, I don't want to take take time out on the stream and everything there. I don't I don't go on on Discord like while I'm streaming. But Radiclaw, did you did you have a wait, did you have a donation deck that you hadn't used? Is that what you mean? Okay, gotcha. All right, good card to coil. Um So Radical, did you want did you want me to play that tonight? Or would you mind if I if I played it tomorrow? Okay, I do want land. So we're gonna have to shock here. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. So, yeah, if, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll play it tomorrow, and I'll take a look at it after stream and everything, if you don't mind waiting just a little bit. Oh, no, that's a good card. That's a good card. They got like no spells over there. Cool. Well, thanks. Thanks for being cool about it, Radical. And yeah, I'll, I'll check out your deck after after stream. Draw blue, blue land. Darn. I, 
Eisenev. Thank you so much for gifting a sub out to Radical there. Santa Eisenev, very, very nice of you. Thank you so much. All right, well, unfortunately, we're going to lose the niv Mizza battle because we're at 9, they're at 20. All right, that's nine subs on the day. We are one away from our first sub goal. We'll, we'll keep them from attacking, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we got a Niv Mizzet mirror. All right. Teferi, Tux, Kefnet, and Niv Mizzet. I want to play those, and I want to play Insight. Because Scatters were great against Kefnet, I suppose. Maybe I should just be playing these Scatters. No, no Time Raveler. All right, let's try this. Yeah, Essence Scatter does look a lot better now that we see Kefnet. Obviously, Essence Scatter doesn't counter Niv Mizzet. So don't have to worry there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to negate a charter course here. Because I didn't shock in. Go get him, Drake. All right, it worked out. We drew land, so we get to Insight now. Insight will help us hit more land drops to be able to get to Perun. not on the, the whole hit land drops part of the equation. That's not going to resolve.
All right, Kefnet out of here for a little bit. So playing the Chemist's Insight gives us a lot better chance to actually play Niv-Mizzet next turn. So yeah, I should just do that. Wow. Did it here main phase because I wanted to be able to play land, play Dovin's Veto. Bleh. on the play, but they still cast niv at first because they hit all their land drops. We didn't. So I guess I shouldn't have played turn I played Enigma Drake I could have cast could have cast a draw spell to look for lands I guess I just need to, to dig harder for lands no because I played Enigma Drake on turn 3 so what I do on turn 4 I cast Chemister's Inside on turn 4 and then turn 5 I don't remember yeah, we got we got out -nived. I feel like one of those turns. Oh, no, I cast Discovery, right? Yeah, I cast Discovery. Hey, Chris, welcome back. All right, well we got out -nived. I didn't cast Discovery and then negate on Ral. It's like what I did there. All right, so yeah, so how do I think the deck can be improved? Well, I can say that I was not impressed with Spell Pierce in the slightest. Like, not, not at all. I really liked Lava Coil. I wish we had four Lava Coils in the 75. I think Deafening Clarion is awesome these days. I'm not very I'm not very big on this Teferi. I I wasn't like really that impressed with this Teferi at all. I think that I would rather have Clarions instead of the Teferis. Like just in the main deck. Like Clarion is awesome. Like I would just want I just want Clarions. I don't want Teferis. Maybe sideboard. Or just maybe just not even playing the card. Because we don't, this deck doesn't do a very good job of protecting, of protecting Teferi. You know, like we don't, like this deck isn't playing just like tons and tons of removal spells or anything like that. So I, I would want a fourth discover or a fourth Clarion in the sideboard. That card is just awesome. Like I think Clarion's like the biggest reason to play this deck, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, maybe get a second Lava Coil in here, not playing the Spell Pierces. Maybe one Spell Pierce? No, or maybe just an, another Negate or Veto. Maybe a 24th land. But we did. That was just pretty unlucky as flooding out. Bad like that, but we are trying to hit lots and lots of land drops. I know we have Discoveries and Ops and everything. I wouldn't mind having another land in the deck, though. Because that means... 
feel like if when you have like four lands, you can safely get rid of lands with discovery and opt, and you know you're you're pretty confident that you're you, that you can continue to hit more lands. Yeah, so I would I'd recommend something more like that. Sideboard wise. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I really like this Teferi. I mean, there is like the, the flash decks. It's like maybe we want this Teferi because of the flash decks. But honestly, maybe not, maybe not even then. No, I haven't updated the Naya value list in a long time. I mean, I, I basically did with the, the Mardu midrange. That was basically the Naya value list updated, but it was Mardu. Um... Oh, hate absorbs. I think basically, as long as all right. So, I think the deck would probably want another like a a hard sweeper for like all the Nissa decks and you know like the green creature decks that can go pretty big. So like maybe you know like a cleansing nova kind of thing, like a one of in the sideboard, something like that. Hey, what's up, Matt Brown? Vampires vs. Dinos. Which one is better? Well, I'll just let you... Well, which one looks better to you? Does that, that dinosaur there or that vampire there? Which one looks like it's having a better time? Hey, thanks so much. Chronic Slayer. Um, wow, Ch Chronic Slayer gifting out all these subs. You are amazing. So as far as other stuff in the sideboard, maybe maybe like Lyra Dawnbringer against Aggro, but honestly maybe not. Just having like Clarion giving these th giving these Drakes lifelink. Really love Clarion in this kind of deck. Now you probably don't need Lyra Dawnbringer, but like maybe like one Cleansing Nova over here. And then I don't know the exact cards to play, but I think you need to make sure that like you have enough good good stuff against like Mono Blue, Simic, Flash, Vampires, Mono Red, like the, just basically the aggro decks. I'm not sure. This is not an archetype I have a, a ton of experience in, so I don't not, I'm not exactly sure what to do with those things. But you know, think about those matchups. Think about like what cards you really want to play in those matchups. I don't. I don't love Absorb, don't love Deputy, don't love Teferi Time Raveler. Um, like, I think they, those are all like cards that are pretty easily replaced. But I think you definitely want like four Clarions with three in the main, and I think you want one Cleansing Nova in the board. We are popping off Borderin, Radical Guru. Thanks, Eisenaf. Also, y'all are amazing. Oh yeah, we'll be crack. We'll, we're cracking a pack here. That's. Gets us to 18. Yeah, we'll we'll do that right before we get out for this video. Yeah, expansion expansion could be good. Time ooh, I like time wipe instead of cleansing nova. I like time wipe more because you can play like a crackling Drake, draw your card, play some defense. They have to go wider and then time wipe, put it back up. Oh yeah, I love time wipe. That's a great one. I'm not sure if this this deck can really go big enough for Star of Extinction. But yeah, time wipe's a very good one. That's better than Cleansing Nova. But, hey, what's up, Audio Magics? All right, so, um, see, so yeah, did that help out there, uh, Windcat? Yeah, let's crack our pack. Remember, with packs, we're always trying to open up Mythics. So we're always wanting to open up. I don't. I don't like Leyline of Sanctity. I. I would not play Leyline of Sanctity. As far as cool, I wouldn't mind playing some fries in the deck. I would not mind playing Fry. That gets you like a card that just kills Niv Mizzet right away too. But, but yeah, I think I think one of the strengths of this deck is probably Clarion. So get those in the main. Didn't love Insight. I could certainly see getting rid of Insight. Uh, Kefnet is also another great card to be playing, you know, in this kind of deck. 
Um, honestly, Drawn from Dreams could certainly be better than Insight. Possibly. I guess I guess we want all these instants, though. So maybe not. But that's those are other things to kind of think about there. Um, finale could... Yeah, you could play a red finale. You could. That could be a cyborg card for the grindier matchups. Anyway, that's Just Guy Drakes. So if you're watching this video later on, yeah, get some fries with that. Hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Just Guy Drakes, and I will see you for another video.